everyone welcome to successful tradings uh in today's video we are just going to show you the type of orders that uh, you can generate i'm going to use options so by the end of this video uh you are going to be able to sh to learn about some example of using market orders versus limit orders so without any further ado let us go ahead and start all right, so here I am using my uh, paper trading accounts, but uh, you see the same thing on a paper trading account as far as option chains as on now uh, a live account. So it doesn't make any difference. So here, let's first go illustrate um, why it is important to to use mostly limit orders. So uh, I'm here on a very obscure stock, the sprint stock, and I want to show you um when uh, really you have to use a, a limit order so in this case uh, in this option chain this is how um the ordering platform so you come in here uh you have you you already selected the stock obviously you have to know the the, the tick of the stock and again i'm trading options so it would work similarly for 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 stocks so it doesn't really matter so uh these are the type of uh price um orders that exist so as we illustrated on the blog at uh, www.successful.com uh, in the article we explain about the market order the limit order the stop order the stop limit order uh, and talk about the trailing stop uh, as well so they, they are here but really your main focus will be these first four orders here so a market order in this case let's first so we'll start with the limit order so limit order in this case is very appropriate because if let's say i'm trying to say i'm buying the seven call um for sprint expiring on february 20th um don't ask me why i'm using that actually this could be a trade believe it or not they're going for a, a, at a at a bid of 17 cents and i ask of 25 uh, cents uh those thing that we taught you about uh, um, option chain is to look at the implied volatility. Uh, so as of now, you can see that the implied volatility on this stock is very, very high. 127%. It's really high. I mean, historically, you can study it on here uh, as well. So uh, the reason being is that this stock, they are expecting a news on the merger with T-Mobile. So that, that that's what's spiking it up uh in this in this manner but really for our example here let, let's focus on uh the spread is eight cents eight cents is almost 15 50 five zero 50 percent of the bid that's really a lot so hence i will really really use a limit order in here uh tomorrow when i want to open this position and most likely i could even put that limit order to something below 17 cents i haven't studied but i'm just i'm just saying i wouldn't be going putting a market order in you put a market order in they're gonna feel it the market uh, the, the market maker your broker they will feel it for the highest price possible so <laughs> because that's their interest how do they, they why will they do that because uh through some private exchanges they will get it at a cheaper price and get it to you at a higher price and uh pretty much make a few cents out of that that trade that's a classic uh, uh thing that happened so uh limit orders are better market order here will be a no-no because of this spread so uh and then we talked about uh, let's talk about that right away the duration uh so typically uh it's always good for the day i mean you can say okay you want to maybe if you are building a position ready in the future you can say oh every single day i'm gonna try to buy some 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 contract um yeah that's that's possible i rarely have used that but it's definitely possible it's available on, on the platform so uh that shows you uh the 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 value and when it's appropriate to use a limit order which for me is always the case because even in the other scenario so let's go to spy which has very um tight uh options between meaning that what i mean by that is that the difference between the bid and the ask is uh very very small so 
I'm not going to go to February 20th. So SPY opening tomorrow. We are Monday night, uh, January 20th, 2020. So tomorrow is the 21st. SPY will have expiration just because Monday was uh, a holiday in, in the US market. So SPY is trading at 331.95 as of Friday, 331.95. So any one of these that you are to take is going to be very, look at there a three cents uh, difference between the bid and the ask. So if I say I want to buy 330 calls, um, not that I will do that. So maybe let me take something more realistic. Let's go. Uh, I want to trade the 332 calls. Yeah, they, they are close enough. So a market order, look at the, the a limit order. A limit order is telling you that you can get a feel between 47 cents and 49 cents. So that's two cents difference, right? But because it's very liquid, a limit market order and and a limit order rather and a market order, they're pretty much the same. See that? Let me let me go this year. So 47, bid is 47, the ask is 49 for the limit order. For the market order, bid is 47. So this is what you will see that the market order and the limit order are the same, literally the same um, for very liquid stock such as um, SPY. Another type of liquid stock that I talked to you about uh, is Apple. Anytime uh, that you want to trade Apple, you are sure to get a nice feel. So 318, so 327. Yeah, these are getting expensive now, but uh, still, I mean, uh, the 327 are going for, let's go there and illustrate that. So limits. 97 and one dollar 97 cents and one dollar uh, how about the market order if you just say hey i'm trusting the market to give me a feel it's the same thing so here's that's your really main difference so when a stock has uh, very liquid options you have tight difference between the bid and the ask a limit order or a market order is about the same but by putting a market order you're exposing yourself that you could get a feel uh, a very funny feel meaning you don't know what you are paying until the execution happens so hence i do not use market orders really i always use limit orders even when i'm selling my position so how do i know about that the stock will be a, a hitting a certain price and thus the option will be hitting a certain price i study i study the option chain i study the charts and uh, that gives me uh, confidence that's uh, the limit that I put because when you are you select lim uh, limit order you have to input this limit price it gives it to me by default here because I've set it up such that is always the middle uh, but you can adjust it like this I can adjust it so for me I will adjust it to maybe 85 cents and uh, so yeah this is all we wanted to share with you today in this video just to give you a very quick uh, overview of um, the difference between uh, limit orders and market orders and uh, all of the other ones by the way and when, when to do them and then the importance of uh, uh, duration so please uh, subscribe comment like and uh, we will continue to cater this channel to your liking thank you very much and talk to you soon bye bye and welcome to successful trading